so anti cancer drugs can be divided based on based on their cell cycle specific as well as cell cycle non specific so please remember the anti cancer drugs can be classified based on their activity against the cell cycle specific or cell cycle non specific so here you are seeing the cell cycle specific classification where the particular drug is acting at the specific phase of the cell cycle so here we have a m phase we have a m phase we have a g1 phase we have a s phase and we have a g2 phase so vinca alkaloids and taxins are acting on the m phase whereas the etoposide is acting on the g1 phase and s phase is acted upon by the anti metabolite whereas the topo isomerase is acting on the g2 phase g2 phase so on the g1 phase etoposide s phase it is anti metabolite g2 phase it is topo isomerase inhibitors and m phase it is your vinca alkaloids and the taxanes vinca alkaloids and the taxane so broadly you can classify the anti cancer drugs into those drugs which are having cytotoxic action those drugs which are having targeted action and those which are related to the hormones and the miscellaneous group of drugs next coming to the classification so before going to that let us see what happens when you give a anti cancer drugs so when you give a anti cancer drugs so these drugs will going to act act not only on the cancerous cells not only on the cancerous cell they will also act on the normal cells so these anti cancerous cells anti cancerous drugs will not be able to able to identify identify or not able to differentiate differentiate between the cancerous cell and the normal cell what is the reason because even the cancerous cell as well as normal cell will have a will have a rapid rapid proliferation rapid proliferation so that's why the anti cancer drugs will also act on the act on the normal cells and they are going to produce a adverse effect they are going to produce the adverse effect so let us see the cancer anti cancer drugs can be classified based on their activity cell cycle specific cell cycle non specific in cell cycle specific phases these anti cancer drugs will only concentrate on the proliferating or the dividing dividing cells whereas the in the cell cycle non specific in, they will also act on the resting phase including the dividing cells including the dividing cells so cell cycle specific will be specific to the cells which are rapidly metabolizing or rapidly proliferating whereas the cell cycle non specific will act both on the rapidly dividing cells as well as the resting phase cells so next move on to the drugs which are there under cell cycle cell cycle non specific cell cycle non specific so we have a alkylating agent alkylating agent we have a platinum compound platinum compound we have a anthracycline group of drugs we have a anti tumor drugs so under this alkylating we have a nmc we have a nmc so what is nmc so you can remember nmc as nmc as nitrosuria m for melphalan d for cyclophosphamide these are alkylating agent alkylating agent nmc platinum compounds remember can be remembered as coc that is the cisplatin oxaliplatin and the carboliplatin under anthracyclines you have got d med doctor med that is doxorubicin donorubicin we have epirubicin and the mitoxantron under the anti tumor drugs we have dm that is dactinomycin and mitomycin c among this one thing we should remember in mind is the anthracyclines have propensity to cause cardiotoxicity it has got maximum risk of causing cardiotoxicity cardiotoxicity please please you should remember this and